Hello and welcome to Polycosm. My name is Christina and today we'll be taking a look at the Blender add-on AEC or AEC, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, which actually allows you to project any 2D image onto any 3D surface with the click of a button and an easy node setup where we basically just combine the original texture with our decal. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, you might be asking how this might be useful in a production pipeline. I'll show you a few examples. For example, what if you have a textured wall like this and you need some quick graffiti, posters, wall details and so on. You can of course go into Photoshop and manually add these elements, but what if you want to move them quickly in real time and non-destructively? Going into Photoshop every time just adds extra unnecessary work. What AIC does that is so brilliant is that it takes all of that and makes it easily accessible within the viewport so you don't have to keep switching applications or opening separate windows in Blender. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. First, load in your model. You don't have to have a texture, but for this example I will have a wall texture. What you do need is a UV map. This projection method just won't work unless you have one. I recommend just creating a seam by entering edit mode, selecting edges where you won't necessarily see too much of your model and right click mark seam. Then press U to unwrap. Sometimes smart UV project works too if you have a nondescript shader like metal, gold, reflective porcelain and so on. Of course if you have a model that already has a texture on it, obviously it has been UV unwrapped so you can just skip over that particular step. Alright, so drag in your image and make sure that it's set to front so you can more easily see it in front of your model and you can also if you want to make sure the transparency is lowered to see where on your model you'd like the texture. Now this is a transparent PNG so the background is completely transparent. You can choose a fully transparent image which I will do for the posters later on. Once the texture is loaded, you just move it in front of your model, select the decal and shift select the model. Go to the add-on and hit paint. It might seem like nothing happened, but hopefully in the assigned directory, you'll have a generated texture file. Drag that into the shader editor, create a diffuse or principal BSDF, hook the texture to the color node and shift control drag between the two BSDFs. A mix shader will be created and all you need to do now is to connect the alpha to the factor. Sometimes the shaders get inverse so if that happens just switch them out and there we go. If we now size up or down the texture and hit paint again nothing will happen but if we hit the auto reload button the texture will update in real time. However, it seems to be a bit low quality, so if we up the quality a bit and hit paint again, it'll appear a bit sharper. You do have different modes and different projection options, so if you're in doubt, just check out the documentation on the Gumroad page or the IAC website. What if you, for example, want to lower the opacity of the decal itself? If we actually add in a brightness contrast node right before factor, we can actually adjust the transparency pretty easily. If you want to play around with roughness to make the decal more shiny or reflective of its environment and HDRI map, you can of course use a principled BSDF instead of the diffuse BSDF and play around with all of the nodes. And if you want, you can even make it emissive by turning up the brightness and adjusting the emission strength. There are so many things you can do with this. Projecting onto a DAS model, for example, will allow you to easily add tattoos. And you can even be fancy and make them glow if you want. By the way, if you want to know how to import DAS models into Blender, I've covered that workflow in a bunch of previous videos before. So let's try this with a poster, but try a slightly different method. IAC also allows you to project from a camera view, so in order to do that, you just load in your camera, make sure the camera icon is highlighted, and hit numpad 0 to enter camera view. Under the view panel, you can choose camera to view, and just move it around freely. Under the camera settings, go to background images, hook it, and add in your image. It's pretty stretched usually, so let's just choose fit or crop. 
Again, choose front for depth and zoom in on wherever you want the tattoo to be projected onto your model. Then unhook camera to view and move around so that you can select both your camera and your model. Choose paint and there we go. I personally prefer the reference image method, but it's all up to you really. You can use the one or the other or actually both at the same time. Here's actually a test I did with the camera where I projected a woman's face onto a low poly sculpted head. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's a great way to get quick detail with low effort. By the way, a tip from me is, instead of upping the resolution right away to make the textures more sharp and having to wait a bit every time you hit paint, you can use the percentage bar here to just lower the quality and once you're finally happy with all of your projected textures, you can turn it all the way up to 100% for your final render. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you can see how useful this is for many different things. What you're seeing on screen is actually a demonstration from the creator itself, Roman. Here you can see that if you just have the right textures, you can create some really intricate designs super easily using the brilliant add-on. I am in no way a texture expert, but if you have any questions, post a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. Roman says he's open to any feature suggestions or questions, so you can shoot him a message as well. He'll probably be able to give you a much better answer, to be honest. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll close out the video where I try using Roman's technique and try to kind of pimp out a little sculpture. <laughs> Bye!
Oh, and I just wanted to let you guys know, Omrichan and I will start releasing videos on a bi-weekly schedule instead. We just want to focus on more quality videos rather than quantity. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's been really tough releasing Polycosm videos on top of full-time client work and our Eclipse Studio cooperation. So yeah, you can expect a new video from us every two weeks from now on. <laughs> Thanks and bye guys.